a few keys that we'd like to focus on with regards to our platform development. The first key is getting our arms straight and in our periphery early. Arms straight and in our periphery. The second key is focusing on putting our elbows together first. By focusing on our elbows together first, our hands will naturally come together. The third key is having the appropriate clasp. We want to make sure that one hand is cupping underneath the other hand with our thumbs and wrists angled down, which will allow us to have a more solid, straight platform. The great thing about this particular drill that we like to warm up with when we're developing our platform is the fact that they are passing on a BOSU which allows them to work on proprioception, having an understanding of how they control their body. They can control their body, we say they can control the ball. This drill is what we call BOSU passing. We just primarily do a, a triangle drill like this with one tosser, one passer on the BOSU, and one catcher or a setter. And we put them on the BOSU with both knees uh, on the ball, feet off the ground. And what this allows us to focus on is to develop proprioception, where they have an understanding of what they're doing with their body, controlling their body, to allow them to control the ball. And then we pay attention to how we want to develop the appropriate platform mechanics. The other great thing about this drill and passing off of a BOSU is they will also develop a kinesthetic sense, meaning they're going to be able to have an awareness of the angles that they're going to create. And also, with the repetition, they're going to develop a great feel for the ball. Ultimately the ball only knows contact and so we're trying to be able to consistently uh, be efficient with what we do by controlling our body and being efficient by how we put our arms together, how we present our arms and how we put our arms together. The tosser can randomly spray the ball uh, anywhere within uh, the passer's range. And we don't mind if the passer has to fall to the ground and still make the pass. We actually, uh, by doing that, they still have to be aware of creating the appropriate platform uh, and create the appropriate, sorry, they have to be aware of creating the appropriate platform angle and still figure out how to get the ball where we want it to go. We will have them pass from left back, center back, and right back, and we will also have them receive balls over the nets from uh, different locations. <laughs>